Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Yusuf. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, affirmed that the Bahraini camel sport is progressing at a steady pace towards more international achievements, which reflects the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness noted that recording a new victory for the Bahraini camel sport in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is a clear indication of the successes achieved by this sport. He expressed pleasure in Nahar winning first place in the Saudi Camel Federation. Cup amid strong participation and competition from many countries. His Highness wished for continued success and achievements in the coming period. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended a press conference to announce the details regarding School Games 2024. His Highness Sheikh Khalid spoke at the conference alongside the head of the Executive Committee for the Preparation and Organization of the School Games, Ishaq Abdullah, and President of the International School Sports Federation, Laurent Patrinka, in the presence of Deputy President of the GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, Deputy President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Al Naimi, and a number of senior officials. His Highness praised the royal patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for School Games 2024 that will be hosted by the Kingdom of Bahrain and welcomed all participants from all over the world. He hailed the spirit of Team Bahrain that motivates to exert further efforts, especially for this international event that will add to the series of achievements of the Kingdom. He added that Bahrain achieved advancement in developing its sports infrastructure and empowering its cadres to raise the status of the Kingdom globally in order to enhance sports, tourism and host high-profile events. His Highness expressed his aspiration to hold this event in the Kingdom and stressed its importance in developing the sports sector adding that school phase is the perfect start to harness talents and enhance competitiveness. He held the continuous support of His Majesty the King towards sports and athletes and the directors of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in the role of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in this regard.
We are here in, uh, in Bahrain uh, in order to launch the ISF Gymnasia 2024. Uh, with the highest authority here, uh, His Excellency was launching the press conference. For us it's very important because it gives the impulsion to the best uh, event of ISF, which is uh, uh, 135 country uh, members uh, who will uh, attend uh, this important event in more than 25 sports para sport and sport. So it is like an uh, Olympic game for schools. So it means that all the, the, all the countries in the world will be hosted here in Bahrain in the best condition. We are also here to visit all the venues, all the facilities in order to be sure, but we are already sure that uh, Bahrain will be one of the best events in the future of ISF. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the president of the International School Sports Federation, Laurent Patrinka. His Highness welcomed Patrinka's visit to Bahrain to announce the details of the school games that the kingdom will host in October 2024 under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The meeting was attended by the vice president of GSA, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, the CEO of GSA, Dr. Abdurrahman Askar, the secretary general of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Faris al Kohiji, the head of the executive committee to prepare for the school games, Ishaq Abdullah, and the CEO and Secretary General of the International Federation, Khrofeya Kastanaya. His Highness expressed thanks and appreciation for the cooperation and coordination with the Federation to host the international sports event, affirming that all concerned authorities in Bahrain are preparing for it at the required level. His Highness noted that Bahrain has an outstanding record of hosting regional and international sports events. Petrinka expressed pride in the royal patronage of the school games 2024 and expressed thanks for the support and follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Khalid and the efforts of all parties working on hosting the event. The President of the Maldives, Ibrahim Mohamed Saleh, and the accompanying delegation arrived in the Kingdom of Bahrain on a visit during which he will hold talks with His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on strengthening friendship and joint cooperation, as well as regional international issues of common interest. The President was received by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Head of the Honorary Mission, Dr. Abdel Latif Al Rashid Al Zayani, and the Maldives Ambassador to Bahrain, Mohamed Khalil, as well as a number of officials. The relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Maldives witness continuous developments in all fields, thanks to the keenness of the leaders of the two countries. More in this report. The relations between Bahrain and the Maldives enjoy great support by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the President of the Maldives, Ibrahim Mohamed, and these relations are the foundation for many aspects of joint cooperation to serve the interests of the two friendly countries and their peoples within the framework of the keenness of the two friendly countries to develop and strengthen their bilateral relations. These relations of the two countries witnessed many developments at various levels through visits and mutual meetings between officials in the two countries and joint cooperation agreements between them in addition to mutual support in regional and international forums. The visit of the President of the Maldives to the Kingdom and his meeting with His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa constitutes a starting point towards strengthening and developing the bilateral relations and enhanced cooperation in all fields. The Kingdom of Bahrain joins the world in celebrating World Teachers' Day, which falls on the 5th of October of each year, which is part of the Ministry of Education's keenness to celebrate the efforts of teachers. More on this report. Thanks to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's unwavering support for education, the Kingdom of Bahrain's education sector has achieved an advanced status at the global level. While chairing this week's cabinet meeting, His Majesty the King highlighted the major role played by Bahraini teachers throughout history and their success in preparing generations of students who are capable of contributing effectively to the Kingdom's comprehensive development. On the occasion of World Teachers Day, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi, lauded the continuous support of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, of the Educational March in the Kingdom, given the importance of education as an essential pillar for development and progress. Bahrain renews its pride and appreciation in its educational cadres and hails their role in spreading knowledge, promoting the values that cement the national identity and providing high-quality educational services. 
The supervisory centers in the four governorates opened today to receive applications for candidacy for membership of the representatives and municipal councils to the relevant committees. The centers witnessed a remarkable turnout by citizens wishing to run for candidacy in light of the unorganized and smooth process and the keenness of the supervisory committees to provide all the facilities required for citizens to exercise their constitutional right at this stage of the electoral process in preparation for the parliamentary and municipal elections scheduled for the 12th of November. The supervisory centers will continue to receive nomination applications until Sunday the 9th of October from 5 p.m. until 9 p.m. The Minister of Health Dr. Jalila Hassan participated in a periodic meeting of the World Health Organization's strategic advisory group of experts on immunization held in Geneva. The minister stressed Bahrain's keenness to provide high-level health and preventive services through a sustainable health system. She added that the kingdom is one of the most prominent countries that is keen to benefit from global expertise and best health practices that work to provide basic vaccinations to all segments of society. She also highlighted Bahrain's distinguished efforts in addressing and combating infectious and communicable diseases which are internationally recognized through its pioneering experiences and success stories. The Minister of Health, Dr. Jalila Hassan, met with the Director General of the World Health Organization, Dr. Tedros Ghebreyesus, on the sidelines of the participation of Bahrain's delegation in the Strategic Advisory Committee of Experts meeting. Dr. Ghebreyesus held the strength of the health sector in Bahrain, commending the Kingdom's experiences and its contribution to enriching global best practices, especially in the field of health emergency preparedness and response in various circumstances. The Director General of the WHO praised Bahrain's pioneering experience in health systems, lauding the Kingdom's success in containing the spread of the coronavirus. The Minister of Health affirmed that Bahrain gives considerable importance to the various WHO programs and recommendations to achieve development goals, noting its keenness to strengthen joint international action to confront diseases and epidemic viruses. Chief Minister of the Isle of Man, Alfred Cannon, visited Exhibition World Bahrain, where he was welcomed by the Minister of Tourism, Fatma Sayrafi, and the CEO of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Dr. Nasser Qaidi. Sayrafi expressed hope that the visit of the Chief Minister will be a good head start for shared cooperation, particularly in the field of, for business tourism. BTEA CEO gave a presentation about Exhibition World Bahrain, considered the first of its kind in the Middle East and the Conference Center. He noted that Exhibition World Bahrain is a crucial component of the ambitious objectives of the tourism strategy 2022-2026. He also said the Tourism Authority is keen on making the outstanding center a popular destination for events and conferences in the region. The Minister of Information Affairs, Dr. Ramzan Naimi, participated in the work of the 20th session of the Arab Media Forum, which was held in Dubai under the patronage of the UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, in the presence of the Chairman of the Dubai Media Council, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and with the participation of more than 3,000 Arab and international media figures. The Minister participated as a speaker in the main session of the forum with the participation of Head of the Supreme Council for Media in Egypt, Karam Jabbar, where the session included the impact of technological development on the media sector, in addition to the role of modern technologies such as artificial intelligence in paving the way for radical transformations in the field of media. The Rasat Board of Trustees Chairman Sheikh Dr. Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa held meetings with American think tanks in Washington, D.C. Sheikh Dr. Abdullah highlighted Bahrain U.S. partnership, ways to strengthen joint ties, and the latest regional developments. He highlighted Bahrain's foreign policy, stressing its role in consolidating the collective security system and combating terrorism. The discussions focused on the role of think tanks in promoting security strategies and regional international policies and alliance relations between Bahrain and the U.S. He said that the Bahraini government succeeded in managing the process of financial reform, economic and technical development, promoting competitiveness and entrepreneurship. A press conference was held on Bahrain's preparations for hosting the first edition of the Arab International Cyber Security Summit, held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister at Bahrain International and Convention Exhibition Center, with the participation of a number of GCC and Arab countries. National Cyber Security Center Chief Executive Officer Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa delivered a speech in which he stressed the importance of the summit for decision makers. He stressed the steady growth of the speed of communication technologies with the preparation of the launch of the 5.5G 
networks, which will contribute to accelerating the transmission of data, which will entail many challenges. The CEO of Miss Frankfurt Middle East, Simon Miller, said that Bahrain's hosting of the first edition of the conference affirms the kingdom's leadership in the field of cybersecurity. He highlighted the kingdom's launch of the cloud-first policy, which aims to reduce ICT expenses. The BDF General Command announced that the opening of registration for civilian volunteers to join the reserve force and continuation of the first phase of the re relatives and affiliates and retirees of the BDF and the National Guard military and civilian. The preparations began in the first phase through the organizing committee's reception of volunteers and continuation of the first phase of the reserve force training.